Hey guys, it's Lily and Jean here, and I wanted to show you a behind the scenes look at how I created a couple of really cute little animated GIFs or um, short video clips from a couple session that I did recently. I think that these GIFs or um, little short videos are a really great way to show some um, extra emotion and movement in a photo shoot. So let's get cracking. All right, so um, I take these photos using the burst mode in my camera. So it's a series of photos taken very quickly. Um, that's really the best way to do it. And you want to try to um, stand as still as possible or use a tripod when you're doing this. Um, so I've got my first series of photos right here. And what I'll do is um, ed usually edit one of them. So the very first first photo in the series of photos that I want to use. I've already already edited this one and then what I'll do is I'll just sync that edit to the rest of the photos in the series so that they're all edited exactly the same and um, it's important to notice that I sync when I sync them my crop and level is the same for each one. Um, you can fix that later on if you don't do it now. Go ahead and show that again. I go really fast when I'm editing by myself. But um, I have everything pretty much checked. I didn't do any local adjustments or spot removals, so that doesn't need to be checked. But having the crop and straighten angle um, and aspect ratio checked is pretty important at this point. So go ahead and synchronize all of those. So now I've got this series of photos showing my clients walking together and um, then they kiss at the end. And what we wanna do is pop these over into Photoshop. So I'm going to select all of them and you can use a shift and select to get them all and then right click edit in and open as layers in Photoshop. And let's see, oh, I need to up, update my Photoshop, but that's okay. You can just click into Photoshop. And what it's gonna do is gonna open all of these photo files in Photoshop in the same document as layers. And then from there, we'll create the timeline GIF little video thing. All right, so it's gonna take a moment for this to process. Okay, so once all of the files are loaded into Photoshop as different layers, what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to open the timeline window, which is not usually turned on automatically. So you'll go to window, timeline, and you'll get this little section down here. Next, you will um, select create frame animation and then coming over to the menu, you're going to make sure to select all of the layers and then hit this little um, hamburger button down here and select make frames from layers. So now we're gonna get all of the frames down here in the, time, in the video timeline. Um, and if you select play, you'll notice that everything is going backwards. I'm not sure why. <laughs> everything loads in backwards, but there's a way to fix it and it took me forever to figure this out. So I'm gonna help you out. You're gonna go back to that little hamburger button and select reverse frames. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now everything's in the correct order. So um, we're going through and looking at it plain. Everything looks really good, but if you notice, there's a little bit of shaking in the buildings, which I totally expected because I was doing this handheld. If you have a tripod while you're taking photos like this, um, you shouldn't have that much of a problem, but there's something that we can do to fix that. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pause the video timeline. I'm not sure, oh, Pudge, oh my gosh. Sorry guys, ah, get down, little buddy. Oh, he just wants to be a part of the fun. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to, again, make sure all of our files are selected. Hi, Pudge. Make sure all of our files are selected and we're gonna go to edit, or layers, all of our layers are selected. Edit and then go down to auto align layers. And I usually have a pretty, Pudge, oh my gosh. <laughs> I usually have a, um, a pretty good uh, result with auto. That's what I always do. So I'm going to press auto and Photoshop, it's going to do its thing and it's going to look at all of the layers and um, 
align them. Do exactly what it says it's gonna do. Thanks, Pudge. Sorry. You can't sit on the iPad. <laughs> okay, so now that all of the layers are aligned, you can see that we've got a little bit of a border, but don't worry, we can take care of that. So we're going to click the free transform button. And what I do is I just make it a little bit bigger so that all of the spots are filled in and then you can select or press enter to solidify it and um, then we're going to play it again and just make sure that there aren't any holes as we go through the frames. So playing through it, everything looks really good. I love it! And notice that there's no more shaking anymore because the files have been, or the layers have been aligned. So go ahead and press stop. Now if you notice on these little tiles down here, let me see if I can make this a little bigger. Can I? Oh, oh, maybe not. I always have the hardest time getting my windows to be bigger. Oh well, I'm not going to be bigger today. Anyways, if you notice right down here below each of these frames, there's a zero second, and that's how long it's going to play. Um, it plays back really slow in Photoshop, but when you export it, it will be different. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of the layers. Pudge, you can't stand up here. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna select all of the layers and then change how long each frame is from here. So I'm gonna make each frame um, 0 0.25 seconds. I, that usually works pretty well for me, two five, okay. And then I usually make the last frame a little bit longer, just so you can see them kissing. So I'll make that one second. I made them all one second. So let me go back, 0 0.25, okay. And then just the last frame, we'll select that and we'll make that one one second. All right, so playing through, I think that looks pretty good. Aw, oh, super, <sighs> Pudge. <sighs> let me put him out, <laughs> Pudge. <laughs> you just wanna sit there? Can you sit there without without scratching me? Okay, all right, so that looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and export it. So I'm gonna say file, export, and then render video. You're hooked on to me, huh? Can you just sit right there? And then um, you can um, choose the folder that you wanna export it to. And then I just go ahead and use YouTube preset. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but this is gonna make a little video clip of it. And then press render, and it usually takes a few minutes. So now that it's finally exported, let's see what it looks like. Perfect, love it. Okay, so next day Lillian here, and it turns out, even though I said perfect, love it, at the end of that video, we aren't actually done. So let's pop right back into Photoshop and I will show you the things that we need to do to finish this off. Pulling up Photoshop, we have our frames down at the bottom. I exported the video, but I left out a couple of really important details. One, um, if you want the video to play more than once, you know how GIFs will usually loop over and over and over again because we're creating a video instead of a pure GIF. We are going to have to um, create multiples of the frames so that you get a video that doesn't just play through once and stop. So what we're gonna do is we're going to select our frames and then we're gonna come right down here to the bottom to this little duplicate selected frames button. We're gonna press that and it will go ahead and duplicate them. So now I have a duplicate set and I'm gonna press that a couple of times so that when we do export our 
um, video file, it will play multiple times. So let's go ahead and press play. So when we export it, it'll play multiple times and it'll look more like a true GIF. Yay! I think, I think that's it now. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, make sure, um, or feel free. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I will try to answer any questions you may have. Uh, this is definitely not the most polished tutorial, but I really enjoyed making it. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to like it, let me know, and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys! Thank you.